now children we'll see reference to context reference to context i hope you already got this words in fourth standard the section you know no reference to context reference to context is nothing once again i'll explain is nothing but he gives a sentence from the lesson so you have to read that sentence and find out and say who said these words to whom on and he'll ask these questions you should answer them so here we have the first reference to context look as this picture i found it in the box of old things so this is the sentence given okay so first question is asking who is the speaker first you have to say who is the speaker and to whom is he speaking first look at the question again look as this picture i found it in the box of old things so you remember who said this line yes the boy the author you can say the boy or the author is the speaker and he is speaking to he ran to his grandmother isn't it so he is the so and to whom is the grandmother so you have to write the author is the speaker or the boy is the speaker and he is speaking to his grandmother got it the next question he asked in the reference to context regarding this line where had the box of old things been found see where where were the old things found the loop of old things had been found in the attic attic i said you know the things that are coming from generations to generations a room lo vaadiki dorkini ivanni ni isn't it so the loop of old things had been found in the attic got it so that is the second so you try to say it in your mind whenever first i say the question no next one who was the picture of describe the person who was the picture of definitely you will get this answer the picture was the grandmothers and describe the person already in the first answer the following questions you know the description of the person what is it how was the grandmother she wore, she she has a loose hair she wore a dress that nearly covered her ankles her sleeves reached her wrists and wore a lot of bangles she stood with the legs apart and she had her hands on her hips and had a almost a devilish smile on her face so this is the uh, describe the person you can write the you can you already you know no about the person already i uh, explained you about that uh, grandmother you can write that that is enough okay very very easy next question next reference to context sorry but she was a very wicked girl but she was a very wicked girl who do you think the girl was who do you think the girl was again the girl was last explaining the lesson i told you last you revealed and i revealed and that is right and what is that is grandmother the girl was grandmother in her childhood the speaker here who is the speaker she is a wicked girl who was saying is this the boy saying no the boy was not saying grandmother herself was saying that she was a wicked girl who is who is speaking grandmother is speaking okay next b where and when was the photograph taken the photograph was taken in grandfather's house she said no you can go through the lesson if you don't remember when where was the photograph taken she said the photo i remember she said no i remember the photograph is taken in your grandfather's house the same thing you write there the photograph was taken in grandfather's house how many years back 60 years back very good what was strange about the hands something strange was there what was the strange the strange thing is the hands in the photograph reached up as if the person was about to climb the wall as if as if he wants to climb the wall so that was the strange the person was unseen only the hands were seen as the he wants to climb up the wall you have to write that the next reference to context is i wonder whose hands they were <clears throat> who said this lines who is the speaker the question is who is the speaker and who is being spoken to 
here grandmother whispered those words to him herself actually she was thinking whose hands were they so she whispered to herself she was murmuring what tanaku thane anukuntunaru ever chethulu avvi hands avvi ani what was the speaker doing at this time so ee maatlu maatle i wonder whose hands they were anna vallu who grandmother so what is she doing what was the speaker doing at that time the speaker was knitting isn't it she was knitting knitting at that time next one which insect interrupted this peaceful moment which in which insect some insect interrupted them what is it can you say yes a lemon colored butterfly a lemon colored butterfly interrupted this peaceful moment how did it how did it it sat on the needle knitting needle and it flew away and set and settled on the sunflower how it settled on the knitting needle and then after some time it flew from there and uh, settled on the sunflower on the sunflower 